Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at VMware Workstation and specifically the snapshot and clone features. So in a previous video we installed Windows XP for Professional inside of a virtual machine. We have it up and running on the screen right now and let's say we are about to test out a very dangerous program. So let's say uh, some malware, a Trojan horse, uh, something we've downloaded off the internet or uh, if you're working for law enforcement, you're about to open up something really bad, something that could uh, destroy your operating system. So what you might want to do is snapshot your system before you open that program, and this will allow you to get back to a previous point before you installed the program. So it's sort of like ghosting your machine or saving a backup of your operating system state. So let's say we have a basic install of Windows XP, so it's nothing nothing too bad here. And so let's say we go on the internet and I want to get a program called BurnAware. So uh, actually before I do that, let's snapshot the system. And I'm going to put a little notepad thing up. Notepad. This is a snapshot before install. You don't have to do this. I'm just putting it here to prove a point so that when we revert back to a snapshot you will see this. Alright, so let's go up to VM. You can see snapshot and I will take a snapshot. Click on that. Snapshot 1 and description or actually let's put in the name before burn aware. You could put a date, you could put a time, whatever you want there. And it takes a snapshot, bam! And what's cool about this is it will do the snapshot in the background so you can continue working. Uh, what I usually do is I'll let it go for about 10 seconds because it is writing a pretty large file to the hard drive. Alright, so we've got that. We're going to go to CNN.com or open up our web browser. Let's find BurnAware. It's a pretty nice uh, CD burning program gonna click on that and it's free which is pretty nice gonna download that burn aware free download now and the download buttons right there okay how many download buttons do we have to click okay oh, you gotta love files with its fast download okay we're gonna click uh, open burn aware now, I know that BurnAware is a pretty safe program, but let's say this wasn't. You didn't know where the, someone just gave you this program. You didn't know if it was uh, good or not. We've already snapshotted our system, so we can pretty much open anything with impunity here. Click that. Get rid of all my extra windows out there. Click on Next. I accept. Next. And, uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's install all this extra junk there and basically keep clicking next and install I'm gonna pause the video while it goes through that install okay and we're back click on finish launch the program and it's taking its sweet time maybe I should double click there there we go okay so this is burn aware it's pretty nice actually you should get this on all of your operating or all of your windows operating systems it's pretty nice but uh, that might be a, another video for later okay it seems to work okay but let's say for example this program destroyed your computer it put in all these weird settings and actually if we go to our browser you'll see that now we should have some extra toolbars here. Uh, I thought it installed the toolbar but maybe it did it in Internet Explorer. But anyways, let's say your system has been irreversibly changed for the worse. Okay, there we go. We got this ugly ask.com toolbar. Extra junk there. So let's say the program installed some malware you don't like it well we can get back to our snapshot all you have to do is go up to VM snapshot revert to snapshot 
by restoring blah 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 current state will be reversed are you sure yes we will sort of goes through a minor reboot there and bam we are back we don't have a burn aware if I double click on Internet Explorer we will not have the ask.com toolbar we are back to normal that's pretty awesome so that is a quick look at the features within the, the snapshot and revert to snapshot. It just lets you uh, take a sort of like an image, a ghost image of your current state. Then you can mess around with any malware you want or weird programs. And if it messes up, no big problem. You can revert to snapshot and you don't have to go through a full reinstall. So that's pretty nice. You can also take many snapshots. You could continue taking snapshots. And so you could go step by step, take a snapshot click another menu option, take another snapshot, pretty much only limited by the amount of memory and hard drive space you have to store all those snapshots. All right. So another option you have is uh, we've got our Windows XP here. Let's say I wanted to give this to my friends and coworkers. So this install took about 35 minutes, about 35 to 40 minutes. It's not a, not a lot of time, but uh, let's say I want to make this file and just hand it around the network and so everyone can have Windows XP just like I see it right here. Well what you can do is you can go up to VM and click on clone and it's going to give me a nice uh, message here saying you cannot make a clone while the thing is powered on. So we actually have to power this off and we're going to have to do it uh, easy, uh, the proper way. Go to start, turn off computer. I'm going to turn that sucker off. Wait a couple seconds while it goes through all the shutdown procedures. All right, so it's off. Go back to VM, go to clone, click on next. Current state in virtual machine, or you could do it off a snapshot. It looks like it's grayed off here, but uh, first one is good. Create a link clone or create a full clone. I do create a full clone. What it does is it makes a copy of the VMware files, and then you could just copy copy that folder around and pass it around. A link clone is sort of like a, a, a shortcut to the original one. You usually don't want to do that, or at least I don't do that. So create a full clone, creates a complete copy of the original. Virtual machine name, whatever you want, that sounds about right. Uh, location, I'm going to put it somewhere else. I'm going to put it on my secondary drive. Let's see here, pop it there. Got an E drive and I'll do OS Microsoft I'll make a new folder here I'll call it win XP pro VM complete how about that enter click OK finish and it's going to be copying all the files to that secondary drive and then after that finishes. I'm going to actually pause the tape. It's going to go through the cloning. And then when we resume, I'm going to show you where exactly they put those files and how you can actually distribute them around. All right, we're done at the cloning, so we click on close. Let's go ahead and find where they popped that, where VMware popped that file. Let's go into Windows Explorer and click there. Let's see what we got here. Date modified. Doo, 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 doo. Windows XP Pro VM complete. Okay, so we double click on there. And you can see we have several different files. We've got a VMDK. This is the actual virtual disk. We've got the different stuff here. And so what I could do is I could zip this up if I were going to put this on the internet. I would right click on that, I would WinRAR it, or I could send to a compressed zip folder and throw it up on BitTorrent or uh, FTP, give it to my friends, stuff like that. If you're on a local network, all you have to do is copy the folder itself because uh, you'll have fast transfer speeds. And then what will happen is when people double click on this file, they will be able to open up the virtual machine. So let's give it a shot. Double click on that. takes a little while for VMware to initialize. Yep, 
and VMware Workstation comes up and we could power this on and it will look the same as we as we saw before so this is pretty nice you could give it to 10 of your friends and they will already they will all have Windows XP already installed with whatever options you set for them so it saves them a lot of time saves them about 30 to 40 minutes on the install and it's also a great troubleshooting tool if you have a big hard drive what you could do is store many images many snapshots of Linux and Windows XP so you're all ready to go and this is very helpful for any programmers and coders out there All right. so this was a quick and easy video on how to do the snapshots and cloning within VMware workstation thanks for watching